how can we leverage the map as a sensor in the process of sensor fusion? Um, we can do this in many ways. We're going to highlight two of those. So we're showing you here at the bottom left of the slide um, a 3D semantic map that we're overlaying on top of a, a registered point cloud. So um, in this map, we have the geometry of different objects that are relevant for driving. These are the signs, the signals, the lane markings, medians, uh, crosswalks, etc. So we've captured this um, geometry in terms of vectors, you know, points, lines, and polygons. And we've also made the map semantic in the sense that we've associated different things to each other within the map. So, uh, for example, if you're traveling in a particular lane, we know which signs are relevant to you, and that makes the map semantic. So, in the sense of sensor fusion, we can do two things with the map in this case. Uh, we can do a validation of our output. So on the top right of the slide, you see a video, uh, camera frame where, uh, let's say, we've had a neural network which is responsible for extracting signals or signs. We've had that network go through the image and label different pixel areas as uh, signals. What we can do then is we can look into our map and validate that our detection is indeed correct. That is one thing we can do with the map. Another thing we could do is actually optimize resources. So let's say that we don't really have a whole lot of bandwidth right now to handle the entire frame. Uh, we're busy doing something else with our compute resources. In this case, the map can actually provide us with a reduced search space to figure out where the signal is. So if our application is to verify whether a signal is red or green, we don't have to look for the signal. We can just look into the map, figure out where the um, region of interest is in our image, and then analyze the pixels just in that region. So that is the image on the bottom right of the slide. And going back to the definition of sensor fusion, this is sort of a hybrid approach where um, Let's say in the first case where we're validating our output, what we could be doing is feeding some sort of image data through an algorithm or a neural network that gives us the outlines of the signs, the signals, the lane markings, etc. And with the map being treated as a sensor data stream, we can then validate in the fusion layer whether the output of the algorithm is correct or not. We can also validate whether the map is correct or not using the same technique. 